Hearing from officials at the Crossroads Church in Carmichael after a former volunteer was charged with 15 counts of lewd acts against a minor. Thanks for being with us tonight for Fox 40 News at 10. I'm Eric Harriman and I'm Nikki Lorenzo. A judge deciding Samuel Paul Cantrell will remain in jail on no bond after attorneys representing the victim detailed the alleged abuse that took place over three years. Fox 40 Zach Boetto joining us now live from the Sacramento County Jail to break down what happened in court today and why church officials Zach are clarifying Cantrell's role. Nikki, dozens of the victim's family members were in this courtroom today as the victim's attorney fought to keep Sam Cantrell in jail on no bond and saying that he is, quote, an absolute threat to the community and that there could be more victims. Grim details coming to light in a Sacramento County courtroom today, uncovering what Samuel Paul Cantrell allegedly did to sexually assault an underage girl in secret over a period of three years. There seemed to be no indication anywhere that this was going on. And we, we trusted Sam uh, in the family and we were surprised, just like you hear people say all the time, I can't believe this. Cantrell is charged with 15 counts of lewd acts with a child under 14, allegedly taking place between 2017 and 2020. In the courtroom today, the attorney representing the victim going into detail, saying the sexual assault happened at least once a month when the victim would have sleepovers at the suspect's house in Carmichael with his own daughters. The victim recalling at least 25 interactions and three specifically traumatic experiences, some lasting up to 30 minutes at a time, sometimes while asleep next to the suspect's own children. Crossroads Church officials say Cantrell did begin to volunteer here in the youth ministry in 2021, working with 6th through 12th graders. But so far, there's no evidence that any sexual assault happened here at this church. The accuser uh, has very clear descriptions of these events happening, not at the church building, not at any church related function, but at their home on a sleepover with cousins and then maybe some family vacations. The victim's attorney said Cantrell's devices were wiped clean of photos and videos, but detectives were able to uncover over 100,000 photos, some from a hidden camera in the bathroom, allegedly showing the victim partially undressed and other potential victims. The attorney also mentioning grooming in private messages over social media and Cantrell allegedly buying the victim bikinis, hiding them, then asking for fashion show photo shoots with the victim's friends. Back in 2016, we spoke to an expert at Weave who says it's key for victims to come forward, but it can be hard. It's also important to say this is not your fault. You did not cause this and you deserve to not be abused. As family and the community come together in this difficult time, the Sacramento County Sheriff's Office urging any other victims to come forward. Nikki Eric, if convicted of the charges he's facing now, he could spend up to 36 years and eight months in jail. This all comes as detectives continue to comb through his devices that were wiped clean. He is due in court next on August 9th. Reporting live from the Sacramento County Courthouse, Zach Boetto, Fox 40 News. Zach